Is it worth it to buy a collector booster box of Phyrexia? All will be one. That's what we're looking at today. We are gonna look at the quality, the art and design of the set. We're gonna, of course, be watching out for the hits that we get. And overall, we're gonna ask the question, is it fun? So first things first, of course, the packaging on this is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It is shiny. Look at the shine, full on shine on this one. It is made in Japan. If you're the kind of person who likes putting these on their shelves, it's gonna look great. You're even gonna have this really cool little magic 30th, 30 years old style. In case you like that, that's enough of looking at the box. It's time to dig in, see what we get. So here we are, we're opening my first collector booster box. Oh, it's so, so long since Kamigawa. Wow, I mean, this one, it got me. Look at that shine, wow. It does feel really nice. Really, really quality product. Oh, if you can get it open though, wow. The seal on this, <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's tight. Ooh, look at those packs. Hey, not, the, not the nicest look. We're just gonna pull them all out here. Save the cool boxy and you still have a cool, cool box, right? You still got a cool box you can put on your shelf. Cool stuff. Okay, anyways, here we go. We're taking a look at this. First one, pull tab, we've got this figured out, mostly. Well, let's see what we get. We're gonna get a lot of shiny, right? A lot of shiny, of course. You need to like foils if you're gonna be opening a collector booster box, because that's what you're gonna get is foils. So we're starting off with our might. We got old Mr. Unctus here. He's a nice looking guy, look at that. Ovika, here you go. So you do get some non-foils. Ovika, a blight belly rat. Whoa, is that, that's the good stuff? That was our good stuff. Tangle weave armor, white since twilight. Ooh, we just have another foil there. Another rare, of course, these lands. These lands, this is one of the main reasons to get these. Uh, collector boxes, you can get a lot of these gorgeous Phyrexian lands if you love these. This is the place to get them in foil. And of course you get a bunch of stuff at the end, which you may or may not be concerned with. So that's pack one. So far, I mean, let's just take card check the quality. It doesn't feel super amazing. I mean, like that one feels very thin. Um, it wouldn't be different for the rares though, would it? I don't know. It's not super, yeah, it's not super high quality stock, cardboard stock. Um, I think it could be better for a box you're paying uh, $200 for. Another Phyrexian Might. Those look pretty cool. Norn's Wellspring here. Thrun, Breaker of Silence. The art, though. The art looks really, really good. Tyrannus. Tyrannix Rex. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. That's that completed foil. I just kind of skipped it in the first one. Wow. Really cool. It doesn't quite show up as well on the camera as I would like, but that is a cool one. That mythic. It's a cool one to get it on. Sinu Dancer. And then a bunch of other things, which it's too complicated for me to try and organize it all. Because again, you get so many different things in here. Those lands, though. You only like that common. That's cool. Very cool looking cards. Very cool. I wish the stock was a little bit better. Um, but yeah, the art, that art is cool. We got another mite. Apparently you only get mites <laughs> in the token slot. I don't know. I don't actually know. Look at that Phyrexian horror. Zenith Chronicler there to start it off. The old Rat King, not a big hit. Are completed. So your completed foils, they can just be uncommons. Again, it looks really cool. Um, Feels a little bit better, a little bit thicker on those. I have i don't know what I'm doing here with piles. We got everything. Is, everything's goofy here. Did I not get? There it is. That's the problem. Quicksilver Fisher here. Don't ask me why I'm pausing on it. There we go. Just score a Forge Tyrant. I'll throw that up there. I will probably miss some of them. An old Miglaz. And you know what? Look at that. Yeah, you do not get that Phyrexian one in every pack. I guess I said that wrong to start off. Look at that. Cool, but I kind of want the Phyrexian one, right? I think that would have been a nice thing for them to do 
is to make sure you always get a fire extinguisher one in the collector packs because you're paying a lot for it, <laughs> right? You're paying a lot for it, but maybe some people like that better. Uh, the other one, we got a rebel. You can get different tokens. The old monumental corruption, monumental corruption. Is that a good card for a thumbnail? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Jace, Perfected Mind, here in a non-foil version of it. Oh, man. It feels it feels a little bad getting a completed foil. Your completed foil is a common. Be honest, and then you get the exact same card in a regular foil after it. But to be honest, that part does not feel super great. Um, this is more exciting, almost, than the completed common, from my perspective. Ooh, Thirsting Roots. Love the art on that one. This is the kind of art, like, I know it's just a common, but I don't know. That just pops with the foil. I like that. Not quite like that Rex, though. Not quite like the Rex. Um, so far, I mean, like... Again, the card quality, I think, could be a little better um, as far as, like, the, the actual stock. The printing of it looks really, really good here. I did have, um, there you go, Tekuthla, in, Tekuthal? Tekuthal, I don't know how to say that. Inquiry Dominus, there's another Mythic. I like seeing that. Thronebreaker of Silence, that one looks cool. Get that completed foiling in there. So other than the cardstock not being like super amazing, I haven't seen anything wrong with the quality in here. Ooh, there you go, Vraska foil, Re regular foil Vraska, like that. I did notice actually in some of my set packs, um, I think I, I forgot to mention in the last video, but some of the cards had little splots on it. They had little blots of black ink um, kind of in random places on it. And that was a little disappointing. I mean, I didn't notice it in any of like the bigger cards, but still you'd prefer to not have, um, you don't really want splots on any of your cards. Fortunately, I haven't seen any of that here yet. Another completed, a little bit disappointing. Another common completed, nothing there. So many different versions I can't keep track. The old venerated rot priest, that's a cool foil. People have been talking about this card. It's a cool card. I'm gonna, I'll just throw that, I don't know, I'll throw it over there. Even though it's not anything special, not Phyrexian again. And the foils, they look good. They all look good. The art looks really cool in this set. I love the theme. I uh, love the design of it. Love uh, doing all this Phyrexian stuff. It looks, it's cool. You get a lot of really cool designs. The old Black Sun's Twilight. Nice, 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 nice. Screlv, good to see some Screlv. Another Unctus here, we go with the completed version. It's it's cool, the completed foiling is really cool. I don't, I don't know, I don't know where to like rate it. I mean, it's not, it, it's super cool. It is super cool, but it's not like the coolest foiling or the coolest thing I've ever seen. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's not like, it's not like if they threw that on every card, I would feel like, yeah, I gotta go get the completed foil version. I don't know, just not, not quite there. But again, it does look really good, of course. The old soulless jailer, soulless jailer. Who is the soulless jailer? I'll let you decide. Probably me, the way I'm putting these piles together. They're not even piles anymore. I'm just I'm just throwing cards on the table. The old Mer Convert. Another completed. We'll check at the end. It'd be good to see actually how many of our completeds are just common or anything more. Again, here, just all the regular foils here at the end, which, I don't know, they're cool. They're cool. Not what you you know necessarily want to be hitting at two hundred dollars so far. I mean, I feel like ooh Atraxa, Atraxa. Now that is a fun hit. That's a fun hit. That looks good. What a mythic. What a mythic. This one I love the coloring on it. The art 
is great. Oof. That one's cool. And then we got here Vron Executioner. Look at him. You know, completed. And then old Koth. And then not Phyrexian again. Are we getting like is it one every other almost? Let's check that too. We'll check all the numbers here at the end. The split. Black Cleave Cliffs. That's a very cool looking land. Very cool looking land. Venser. Another common. We'll keep moving. <laughs> and then the Seed Core Foil. And oh, not Phyrexian again. We only have two more packs. Uh, we're doing okay so far. Of course, nothing. Not the really, really big hits, right? No Elish. We got Koth here starting off. That is a very cool looking card. Not necessarily like super big hit, but definitely cool. Kaya looks good also. And of course, if you like uh, this art, the manga art, that's a cool look. Very cool look. Another common one. Wow. So you're going to get a lot of those common completed. Just... Be ready for that. I guess if you buy this, you got to be okay with that. They're not all going to be big hits. And here we go. Last pack. We'll pause. We'll do some looking around. And <laughs> as we speak, yes. Look at that Elish Norn, mother of machines. The manga. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is cool. That is a cool hit. That is a fun hit. That is, that's exactly what you want to see when you're opening one of these. Very, very cool. Uh, makes you not care about the next card or the next card. <laughs> Old Mirror Convert. Very cool. And then we do end up with a Phyrexian land. Very, very nice last pack. What a way to end it there. Let's take a look. Let's jump through some of this. We might do some some cuts or things here move some stuff around only five of the phyrexian ones um so that means yeah less than one of every two we got one two three four five six seven mythics um not huge not huge of course getting ls norn there at the end really just set it off for us it feels like it doesn't really matter what else you got because we got it we got it yes the Atraxa, I really do like the look of Atraxa. Of course, Tyrannix, that completed one. Very, very cool Tyrannix Rex. Now, speaking of the completed, so we'll go back to him here. We did have that one uh, Mythic. And then, look at this. So we had one Mythic, one, two, three rares. Three rares, and we have one... Two, oh man, super fantasy counting, right? Three, four of four uncommons and four commons. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, it, I don't know, it's interesting. It feels a little weird with like, here's your big cool slot, and then half, of, well, two thirds of it are common and uncommons, which are like, well, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I think it could be a little bit more spicy there, could be a little bit more exciting to open. Um, and then, I don't know, I mean, it's definitely a cool look here. I think we got, we got a regular Unctus, regular. We got the upgraded regular Unctus, and then the completed one. Here, I'll put them right there so you can kind of see. I mean, yeah, it's different. It's definitely different. Um, depending on the lighting, if you look straight on, uh, you can't really tell the difference. So, you gotta be moving your cards around to get that cool completed look. The art is really, really cool. You've got, uh, these are just, I don't know, the looks on these are pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome, even when I mess up the piles. So overall, I think the card quality could be a little bit better. Um, card stock feels a little thin to me. Uh, the printing looks really good in this one. I didn't see any spots or dots like I did in the set boxes, fortunately, especially not on that big one. The art and design of this is great. I mean, it's, Again, it looks really cool, even if you're not looking at the super, super hits. Like, these cards look good. Um, 
all the different versions look really good. I like like the way they look, even like, you know, this land. That's a cool looking land. The hits, I mean, we got lucky. We got a big hit and that's fun. That's exciting. I mean, as far as collectability, I don't know if anybody actually collects magic anymore, but this does look like a really fun set to collect. All the different versions and variations, they would look pretty cool uh, in a binder. I mean, you just go through this pile and it's like, I don't know what's going on with <laughs> so many different versions. It would be cool. It'd be a fun, uh, fun set to do Master Set Madness, which I had mentioned before. But uh, yeah, I don't, uh, it'd be a lot of money to throw at this. Maybe, maybe if the prices go down on the boxes, it might be worth it. Might be fun. Uh, might be worth uh, just the joy of opening the boxes, getting the really cool looking stuff, and then seeing how many Elishes you can crack open. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you think I should be opening more of this set.